friends. Today we are starting off this video in my laundry room. The reason we're starting off in my laundry room is because I have a new best friend and my new best friend helps me so much in my house. It is the best helper I have ever had and today I want to introduce you to that friend so stay tuned you but I hate to mop I have decided that probably the reason I hate to mop so much is because of how let's be honest ineffective regular mopping is you just feel like you just never get your floors as clean as possible now I have used a regular mop, I have used Swiffer mop, I have used sponge mop, microfiber mop, steam mop, I have used them all. And I've never found anything that mops as well as the Tenco mop. And let me show it to you. This is my new best friend, the Tenco mop. The Tenco mop that I have is the Tenco iFloor 3 series and it is considered a cordless vacuum washer so vacuum slash mop that's another awesome thing about this is I don't have to vacuum or sweep first and then mop it does it all at one time so it's a vacuum washer I wanted to show you the vacuum really in action, so I put some Cheerios on the ground, and you can see that it sucks them right up, and it is mopping the floor at the same time. This mop has a self-cleaning feature when it does need to be cleaned, and it lets you know on the digital display, you put it back on its station, its uh, charging station, and you press a button and it self cleans. And I'm gonna show you a little clip of how it self cleans. Here's the little cleaning icon. And then this is the button you press. we were here I wanted to show you the charging station this is the base and then it has a cord that you just plug into an outlet now there are two um, two containers there is a clean water container and a dirty water container it comes with a, a cleaner like a disinfectant cleaner so when you put the clean water in its tank you put a like a cap full of the cleaning solution in the water and then after you vacuum it all goes into the dirty water um, container and then it lets you know and actually when the dirty water container gets too full it shuts off and you know it's time to empty the dirty water tank let me show you this first picture is the first time now, granted, I have mopped, and my house is only a year old, and I have mopped using another cleaning solution or cleaning uh, process that when they put our floor in, they told us what to use. And so we use that, still just not feeling like it was getting it clean enough. So I went, the first day that I got it, I went straight to my kitchen floor, this first picture, and no judgment please because it's disgusting and it's embarrassing it's you know mortifying that my floor looked like this and actually you couldn't even tell 
But this first picture is what my floor looked like after I mopped with this Tenko mop the first time. The second picture is after I had mopped the second time, second or third time. And the water still not perfectly clear, of course, whose water would be perfectly clear? I would like to meet that person. So yeah, it really, really just really does a great job cleaning. And uh, the floor in my house is really hard to tell when something is dirty and then when you mop it when it's clean just because of the finish. And you can see in the video what my flooring is. So you, it's hard to really see. But so I'm gonna take you to our side patio and have a retractable screen. So sometimes it's open, but most of the time it's closed, yet the floor still gets dirty. So I'm gonna take this out there and we are going to see how well it cleans a portion of my side patio. Our patio floor is ceramic tile and it does have quite a pattern but you can see the little bits of dirt and uh, dust that are down there. The area that I mopped was probably about a three by three area, and it I just went pretty slowly because I have not used this on my patio. I usually just sweep it and then we run a pressure washer on it, but I decided to use this instead and I feel like it did a good job. How about you? And now you will see how dirty just that one little area that I mopped was. Now emptying the dirty water container or dirty water tank is very simple. You just take it out of the main mop device you take the lid off and you will see there's a little plastic cap and it's kind of a, a filter as well, but it you just clean it off and a lot of times there's hair, so I just get a paper towel and get that off, but you pour the water, the dirty water out, you rinse the tank real good, and I don't usually use soap in there, but you can, but you just rinse the top off, rinse the filter part off, and put the clip back in, put the lid back on it, and put it back in your mop. If you are interested in this mop, I will leave a link in the description box below. The price point, depending on, you can go to the Tenko website, and it's probably going to be about the same, $2.99. However, there are some um, vendors on Amazon that give you a discount. I got a $30, $30 discount on mine. I don't know if that discount's still available, but I will leave the link below. And yeah, it really is a game changer. But thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you love home hacks, uh, home decor, DIYs, cooking, if you love that sort of thing, please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button because it lets you know every time I upload a new video. And also click the like button because it lets YouTube know that you're watching my channel. And uh, that would be a great help to me. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye.